happens if you have to shoot your drone you know you let's say you're a photographer wedding photographer or just you know a hobbyist and you want to go in a country that basically does not allow you to fly a drone no <laughs> Oh, actually, there's a solution. You have to get a toy, something that is technically not classified as a drone. So here is the unboxing of the Mavic Mini. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing the unboxing of the Mavic Mini. And uh, basically, the only thing that we need, we, we got here is the everyday uh, fly cam. So we basically not only have the Mavic Mini, which is an absolute marvel of, of a small drone, um, but we have basically what is kind of entire kits over here, extra propellers, the case. And so I think the only extra thing you will need if, if you end up getting this uh, $500 drone is, uh, well, memory card basically. So uh, let's get started. The reason why I ended up getting this drone was not necessarily because I wanted to get the most affordable drone uh, from the DJI market, but it's also because I have to travel and I have to go to a country where it might be illegal to have drones. In fact, I had actually purchased the Mavic 2 Pro and to my absolute horror, I, I realized that this country is not allowing foreigners to fly there. So uh, what I have to do is basically get a drone that as it says here, 249 grams, which basically means that this drone is classified as a toy for most countries regulations, or at least how to define what is to be a drone, a professional drone. But even though it is only 249 grams, which is, uh, I think the limit is 250 grams for a lot of the countries, you know, what makes this so unique is that the camera is actually not that bad of a camera. And it apparently has a three axle gimbal system. So for a drone this small to have a three axle gimbal system. I never learned to read. Is that true? Yes. Everything except the reading part. I almost say it's kind of an engineering marvel. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got inside the box. Oh wow, look at this. So it comes with a case. Looks like we have a charger. Batteries. I'm guessing the manual here. And yeah, that's, I think that's about it for this box. So let's go ahead and open this nice DJI case and see what we have here. And to be honest, my first drone was an Altel. This right here was my very first drone. We actually ended up being the number one registered drone in the city of West Hollywood, which is kind of, I guess, unique in itself. You're not special. But after doing some in, in extensive research, I realized that, you know, though I really liked my Altel drone, DJI is really stepping up the game, uh, not just with artificial intelligence, but essentially with their camera systems. So I believe this camera shoots 12 megapixels and it has a one half inch CMOS sensor. So for a drone of this size, I mean, oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, that, that fits inside my hand. So for a drone of this size to have a three axle gimbal system, that is pretty amazing. Let me just take off this tape so I can show you this. And here it is. I think one of the biggest difference is that their propellers are kind of already screwed in. Whereas if you were to take the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, the propellers would essentially be something that you plug in. You, you just kind of press in and let's see. Oh, you know what? This one has to go down. Here we go. Oh, 
Here is the uh, battery charger. So this Fly More kit actually allows you to charge three batteries at once, which is really nice. We've got the remote right over here. And uh, here are the antennas. Pop this open real quick, pull this out. So, you know, I, this kind of has a little bit more of a plasticky feel, but you have to, you know, think about this for $400, $500, depending, you know, how you, where you purchase this. This is pretty incredible. And let's take a look at what this is all about. So here we got extra propellers. Uh, we got the cables, uh, I believe. Does this have a cable already attached to it? No, so I think we have to attach the cable to the remote. And uh, let's just go ahead and open these so we can verify exactly what we got. Oh, nice, they gave us a nice little screwdriver so you don't have to worry about that. And these are the different connections. Depending on the type of phone that you're gonna use, uh, whether you have an old Android. But a real cell phone, personal, handheld, portable. Uh, a C connection or a lightning connection, which is for iPhones. Um, so yeah, I mean, they give you all the options that uh, you essentially need. So I guess what we got here is uh, extra joysticks, which is really nice in case uh, these end up breaking. And here is, uh, I believe, our charging cable. And last but not least, we got even more propellers. Yeah, Pr plenty of propellers, that's for certain. So I believe this is uh, for the controller and the charging port as well. So let's take a look how the charging port works. Okay, here we go, yeah. So you can you got all your ports there. And let's go ahead and get our batteries going here. As I was mentioning earlier, it comes with three different batteries. So we just slide this in real quick. And then we just press this button. Maybe we don't have the batteries charged. So let's go ahead and charge the batteries and we'll come right back to the end of this. And uh, just a quick note, if you do wanna take out the battery, there's a, a, a little clip right over here that you clip from underneath and then you can just pull out the battery very easily. Man, this thing is so unbelievably light. It's, it's pretty incredible that they're able to engineer something like this. Turn, turn. Oh, bro. <laughs> I don't think we can turn anymore. So Uno, dos, pues tres. So if you were to plug this in over here. All right. So we attach the cable through the USB and the small port right back, right over here. Beautiful. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and plug in this baby. So I'm not sure if all three of them are actually charging together, but uh, maybe it just has to charge one battery at a time. Good morning. Yeah, you see that sunrise behind you? It's time to catch that. All right, so, wakey wakey. Wish I had a wakey bakey. But it is Florida, but we're gonna be flying this drone and uh, you know, see how it does. It, it's really early, so we're gonna try and see how it does in low light, and then eventually uh, the light will get better, and uh, we'll keep testing the footage. And uh, yeah, just uh, let's go for uh, a fly. I was gonna say a drive, but we're, we're flying here. So according to the DJI app, I'm near a class D airport, but it's kind of, um, I'm technically on the authorization blue zone. But when I went to the Kitty Hawk app to try to get the LANC, 
authorization, the uh, auto authorization, they said there was no authorization allowed here, um, up to zero feet basically. So gonna have to go for a little drive.